Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Compline for Sunday, September 27th, 2020. Uh, it's good to close out the day. It's been a long um, and beautiful day filled with great uh, conversations and interactions, but long. And so uh, it's nice to close the day this way and prepare to rest so that we can uh, rise and do it all again tomorrow. Welcome Carrie and uh, Curtis. Welcome to Katika. Um, no kitten updates tonight. The kittens have decided lately that they, that's actually not true. Dusty is upstairs. She loves to cuddle Joe at night, our middle guy, and he's pretty tickled about that. But uh, Percy is perched over here on his little cat bed. Shout out to Tyler and Anna Muri for the gift of the cat bed. Waffles may not have liked it, but Percy loves it. So that's a good little perch. Welcome, Joanne. Thanks for joining us tomorrow. Uh, this is Compline for uh, September 28th for you, in a sense. So it's good to see you. How are your numbers and How's, how are y'all doing down there as we kind of gird our loins for winter and try to enjoy the fall? You're living into springtime down there. It's amazing to think about the enormity of uh, this creation to know that it's that big that we can be experiencing different seasons uh, on the same planet. Marilyn and Irene, blessings to you. <laughs> no problem, Katika. Heidi, peace be with you. Congratulations on getting your uh, certification certificates today. Speaking of that good news, I wanted to share with you a prayer report that we heard about in church this morning. Um, we've been praying for Nikki quite regularly uh, for several weeks now. Nikki is a dear friend of one of my parishioners who uh, is from New York and uh, Nikki has had been in critical care and was worsening and in fact uh, had had been intubated and on um, a ventilator for the last couple weeks and today as we were praying for uh, Nikki and, and others in the prayers of the people during our worship service uh, Diane posted that she had gotten a call from Nikki's family to say that she had been removed from the ventilator. So um, we don't always understand how it works. We wish that it could always be that definitive a response, but uh, we don't fail to celebrate when we get that clear of an answer to prayer. So um, thank God and uh, welcome back, uh, Nikki. May God bring to completion the healing already begun in you. <laughs> yes, I think Percy, the short-haired cat, um, sneezes because of the long-haired cat's hair. It's quite cute to see. He sneezes with his whole body. Yes, amazing indeed, Heidi. So things are maybe hopefully heading in the right direction for you, Joanne. Yeah, it looks like things are headed in the opposite direction here where things have been opened up and uh, maybe needing to close back down a little bit where our numbers are going up and up and up. And so it's hard. It's uh, we have to pray for our, our leaders. Um, Sometimes we're more and less appreciative of their policies on given things, but it must be a very hard time to be in political or ecclesial or any kind of leadership. So we will continue to up uplift all our various leaders, even as we look to God as our ultimate uh, direction and consolation. So tonight, our, our psalm is psalm number oops 
Psalm number 141, which I can never read without thinking of Marty Haugen's arrangement of it in Hold an Evening Prayer. But we will not sing Hold an Evening Prayer tonight, because this is night prayer, not evening prayer. 141. Uh, and for our hymn, I thought that we could sing together. Uh, I find this hymn just haunting and beautiful. It's uh, from the Trust and Guidance section, number 769. George Newmark wrote it in the 17th century. And it's called, If You But Trust in God to Guide You. Just a beautiful hymn. Uh, so, let's begin as it is good and wise to begin all things under the care of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we pray. God of love, giver of life, you know our frailties and our failings. Give us your grace to overcome them. Keep us from those things that harm us and guide us in the way of salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. Friends, let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Holy and gracious God, I confess that I have sinned against you this day. Some of my sin I know, the thoughts and words and deeds of which I am ashamed. But some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask forgiveness. Deliver and restore me, that I may rest in peace. By the mercy of Almighty God, we are united with Jesus Christ, in whom we are forgiven and so we rest now in peace, in the, the peace of Christ, and rise in the morning to serve. Amen. Psalm number 141. O Lord, I call to you. Come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands is the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let not me be occupied in wickedness with evildoers, nor eat of their sweet foods. Let the righteous strike me. Their rebukes as oil upon the head are not to be refused. Yet my prayers are continually against the deeds of the wicked. Let their rulers be thrown down on the stones, that they may hear my words, for they are sweet. Just as one who tells the earth, just as one who tills the earth breaks the rock, so let their bones be scattered at the mouth of the grave. But my eyes are turned to you, O Lord God, in you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Guard me from the trap that they have now laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I alone pass through. Hey Rose, welcome. If you but trust in God to guide you, if you're following along in the hymnal, 
hymn number 769. If you but trust in God to guide you with gentle hand through all your ways, you'll find that God is there beside you when crosses come in trying days. Trust then in God's unchanging love. Build on the rock that will not move. What gain is there in anxious weeping, in helpless anger and distress? If you are in your Savior's keeping, in sorrow will he love you less. For Christ who took for you a cross will bring you safe through every loss. The Lord our restless hearts is holding in peace and quietness content. We rest in God's good will you unfolding what wisdom from on high has sent. God who has took for you a God who has chosen us by grace knows very well the fears we face. Sing, pray, and keep God's ways unswerving. Offer your service faithfully. Trust heaven's word through undeserving. You'll find God's promise true to be. This is our confidence indeed. God never fails in time of need. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and so we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord, our God. Jesus says in Matthew 6, Do not worry, saying, What will we eat or what will we drink? Or even what will we wear? Indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the dominion and the righteousness of God, and all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow. And in Matthew 11 we hear, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Hey, welcome, Joanne. Are you and Norm uh, back in Edmonton now, or still up in Fort McMurray? Glad to have you joining us either way. Yes, definitely, Karen. Oh wow, I hadn't noticed that um, that that tie-in that it uh, repeated. Ah, I'm glad you're back, safe and sound, Joanne. Let's uh, let's sing our responsory. 
your part, of course, goes like this. Into your hands I command my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I command my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Friends, for what and for whom shall we pray this day? Hear my prayer, O Lord, Listen to my cry, keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you, when I awake your presence will give me joy. Lord, we pray together with Daniel this night, lifting him up. Lord, we pray that you would reach out your healing hand and straighten out all that anything that is crooked for him, cast out anything uh, in his body that is not there by your design. Pray that you'll bring him peace and relief from pain and restore his bladder to full and healthy function. Lord, we lift you up and sing your praise for Nikki's healing this day. We understand that many uh, who suffer from COVID take months and months in recovery. And so, Lord, whether her recovery is short or long, we give thanks that she's around for this recovery. We give you credit for her healing and pray that you will bring to completion what you have begun. Gracious and holy God, lead us from death to life, from falsehood to truth. Lead us from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Lead us from hate to love, from war to peace. Let peace fill our hearts, our world, our universe, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, bless the public servants in the government of our various provinces, states, cities, towns, and nations. 
We lift up to you, especially this day, Prime Minister Trudeau and Premiers John and Jason, Scott and Brian, Doug and Francois, Blaine, Stephen, Dennis, Dwight, Sandy, Caroline, and Joe. We lift up to you our bishops and church counselors, especially Bishop Susan, Michael, uh, Bishop Jason, Bishop Sid, Bishop Larry. and Bishop Greg. Lord, we pray that they may do their work in a spirit of wisdom and charity and of justice. Help them to use their authority to serve faithfully and to promote our common life. Lord, we lift up to you Melanie, Cindy, and Laura, and all who grieve in these days. Lead them by faith forward along your path for them. Assure them of your goodness and your presence with them. And so organize your people, your body here on earth, your church, to reach out and serve such folks that in this moment of fragility of their faith they would be tended well and so uh, grow strong and deep and vast God, our creator, you have ordered seed time and harvest, sunshine and rain. In your wisdom, you send sun and rain on the good and the wicked alike. Give to all who work the land fair compensation for the work of their hands. And grant that people of this and every nation may give thanks to you for food and drink and all that sustains life. May, we, may you use with care May we use with care the land and water from which these good things come and may honor the laborers who produce them. O oh God, our creator, O oh God, our neighbor, by your holy prophet Jeremiah, you taught your ancient people to seek the welfare of the cities in which they lived. We commend our neighborhood to your care that it might be kept free from social strife and decay. Give us strength of purpose and concern for others, that we may create here a community of justice and peace where your will may be done. Look with mercy, O gracious God, upon people everywhere who groan and cry out to you, living with injustice, terror, disease and death as their constant companions. Rouse us from our complacency and help us to eliminate cruelty wherever it is found. Strengthen those who seek equality for all and grant that everyone may enjoy a fair portion of the abundance of the earth. God, we thank you for times of refreshment and peace in the course of this busy life. Grant that we may so use our leisure for the renewal of our bodies and minds that our spirits may be opened to the goodness of your creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Most gracious God, 
According to your wisdom, the deep waters are opened up and clouds drop gentle moisture. We praise you for the return of planting and now harvest seasons, for the fertility of soil, for the harvesting of crops, and for all other blessings that you and your generosity pour out on all people. Give us a full understanding of your mercy that our lives may show respect and care for your creation. And in these days, as people anticipate uh, here in North America, again, heavily altered arrangements for Thanksgiving, we pray that you would console our hearts and teach us the truth that all days are days that require our thanksgiving, our attendance to the rich and gracious mercies that you pour out daily. Grant us generous and thankful hearts, Lord, that we might follow you faithfully. We give thanks together with Karen this night for neighbors, uh, the neighbors who came this week to help the Strudninsky family uh, harvesting their crop after Mark died last month. Uh, Lord, we pray your protection over all those who work the earth uh, to harvest food and feed the hungry. Where there are accidents and tragedies Dwell near, we pray. Be with people and help them to form meaning out of meaninglessness. And weather the storms of grief. We pray together with Joanne for India, her granddaughter, uh, and all who live with bipolar and depressive uh, conditions. We pray even now, Lord, that India would be aware of, of your sustaining presence with her. We pray, Lord, that she would know the good news that it is our jagged edges, our fragilities, our weaknesses that help us to connect to the jagged edges, weaknesses, and imperfections of others. And so to glorify your name by being in relationship with one another as you have attended. Lord, we pray uh, that you would help us to be gentle with one another and with ourselves, that as we seek to connect in this way, in this holy way, that we wouldn't uh, injure one another. We pray together with Carrie for more ambition. Lord, we pray that you would sustain your daughter Carrie, grant her uh, a renewed perspective and the perseverance to gain some new momentum starting tomorrow. In the meantime, Lord, we pray that you would grant her the grace of a good and deep restorative rest so that she can rise refreshed in grace and ready to do the work to which you call her. Lord, we pray that you would uh, break the bonds that seem to be pulling Carrie down as you delight to do. We pray together with Heidi that tomorrow is a better day. Pray that you would release her from the symptoms of her headache and from the conditions that undergird um, these seemingly constant headaches, Lord. We pray together with Joanne for India and Kate as they complete assignments and finish the university year. 
Lord, we pray that you would give them such a sense of uh, accomplishment and buttress their identities. Help them to know, Lord, that at, at the core, uh, in their roots, is where they belong to you. And that nothing they can do or fail to do can ever jeopardize that. And let them live fruitfully out of that amazing truth and knowledge growing in their capacity to extend praises to you and be of good service and care to their neighbors. We pray together with Karen for uh, our siblings in the Jewish faith as they begin the fast for Yom Kippur this week. Help them to find meaningful ways to worship during this challenging time uh, when we cannot gather for our beloved rituals. We pray together with Karen for the staff and students at Yorkton Regional High School as all are sent home to resume online instruction uh, for the next two weeks. Lord, be with our littles. Be with our young people. Be with Solomon and, and so many more, Lord, that struggle to bring to expression or even understanding uh, some of their feelings of frustration and, and fear and uh, diligence and, and vigilance and help their parents uh, breathe your holy wisdom into us, Lord, and help us to patiently walk beside and uh, support our children in these super challenging times. Uh, grant us constantly renewed patience and uh, the curiosity and the care to listen deeply uh, to what they have to say. Pray together with Karen for those grieving Leonard who died this week after living with a brain tumor for the past year. Lord, may they know the deep consolation of your promise of eternal life for all those uh, who would partake of it. We lift up to you Rudy and his family and friends at Camp Kyriakos, seemingly on a similar journey to Leonard. We pray together with Joanne for her neighbors. Pray together with Joanne and, and Norm. Lift up their neighbors and friends who are battling cancer and limited days and other sicknesses. Lord, the truth of our days is that they are numbered and finite. Yet none of us gets to know uh, the exact number of them. Grant us peace, Lord, to walk the best we can day by day, full of grace, full of mercy for one another and for ourselves, full of love and caring compassion for all your good earth for all creatures, for all our relations. We pray together with Eloise for safe travel and health for family members. We pray for strengthened immune systems and uh, during a recurrence of COVID and the regular flu season pray for relief from pain, for rheumatoid arthritis, for Gloria. Lord, the enemy would use our pain to distract or discourage us. We pray through your cross, which redeems all things, O oh Lord, that you would redeem our pain 
Let it not be a distraction. Let it not grind or steal our joy. Help us to think about our pain, Lord, not as your intention or correction, but as an opportunity to delve into your transcendence. To experience what is possible when your kingdom comes near. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of life may find our rest in you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Be our light in the darkness, O God. And in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who teaches us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now in peace I will lie down and sleep. You alone, O God, make me secure. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good night, friends. Thanks for joining in Compline. I pray that you would rest well tonight. Root in God's amazing, abundant love for you. And there rooted, spring forth and rise. Uh, aware of your deep roots, uh, spring forth and rise in good service to your neighbor, to the glory of our God. Good night. Good night, Carrie. Good night, Eloise. Good night, Joanne and Norm. Good night, Karen. Karen one, Karen two. Good night, Eloise. Good night, Joanne. Good night, Heidi. Good night, Mike. Good night, Rose and Dave. Good night, Marilyn and Irene. Good night, Katika. Good night, Curtis and Carrie. I'm not going, you know what guys, I'm not going to read the uh, bedtime story tonight. My, if you haven't noticed, my, uh, I'm tired is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I've tried not to, I'm having a hard time reading right now. I think it'll just be full of error. So I'm going to save that off for tomorrow night and we will see you in the morning. I will certainly go to bed to rest and root and rise. We'll see you in the morrow. Good night, friends.